The Collar by George Herbert, 1593 to 1633. I struck the board and cried, No more, I will abroad. What? Shall I ever sigh and pine? My lines and life are free, free as the road, loose as the wind, as large as store. Shall I be still in suit? Have I no harvest but a thorn to let me blood and not restore what I have lost with cordial fruit? Sure there was wine before my sighs did dry it, and there was corn before my tears did drown it. Is the year only lost to me? Have I no bays to crown it, no flowers, no garlands gay, all blasted, all wasted? Not so, my heart, but there is fruit, and thou hast hands, recover all thy sigh-blown age on double pleasures. Leave thy cold dispute of what is fit and not, forsake thy cage, thy rope of sands, which petty thoughts have made, and made to thee, good cable to enforce and draw, and be thy law, while thou didst wink and wouldst not see. Away, take heed, I will abroad, call in thy death's head there, tie up thy fears. He that forbears to suit and serve his need deserves his load. But as I raved and grew more fierce and wild at every word, methought I heard one calling, Child, and I replied, My Lord. Okay, so George Herbert. George Herbert was um, from Wales. He was a priest um, and he's most commonly known for his devotional works. He, he, he's writing poems about um, religion and um, how wonderful it is to uh, <laughs> ha have, a, ha have a religion that you follow. And this one is slightly different, though. Um, notice, first of all, the title. It's called The Collar. So what does he mean by the collar? Well, here he's referring to the dog collar. This is the collar that a Christian priest, the priest wears, round the white collar around his neck. But it's also referring, I think, to something like a, a dog collar or something that ties him down. Um, and this is really the idea of this poem. Um, he's losing his faith or he's wondering about his faith. Um, and uh, he, he's, think he's thinking about leaving the church and uh, living uh, a life where he can live the pleasures that uh, life can provide. Um, he's longing for a life of earthly pleasures and not to always be constricted by what is good and what is right and what the canons of the church say. And uh, he, effectively this, this is what's happening and this poem is about this inner turmoil in himself. And then when he gets to the very end, um, God speaks to him. And then he forgets about all of uh, all of the, this idea of uh, going to live a a, a, a life uh, outside the church and doing what he thinks is right because God speaks to him and he says, "I will follow." So I struck the board and cried, "No more! I will abroad." So I think he banged on the wall yeah and he says no more I can't take any more of this I will abroad I will go I will leave what shall I ever sigh and pine so is my life destined to sigh oh and to pine to want things that uh, uh, I can't have 
My lines and life are free, free as the road, loose as the wind, as large as store. So I, could cho I can choose a life of being free, as free as walking the road, of going where I want, being as free as the wind, yeah, doing all of the things that are in store for me, to do all of the things that the road holds for me. That, that life has in store for me. Shall I be still in suit? So shall I be still? Shall I continue without moving? Um, I think in suit, in a, in, in a straitjacket. Shall I uh, do nothing and continue exactly as I am and doing what I do? Have I no harvest but a thorn to let me blood? and not restore what f I have lost with cordial fruit. So he's now mm, making a, a, a metaphor saying that his life is like a, fl uh, a plant that bears no fruit, that gives no seed, that doesn't give back anything. Yeah, the only thing that this plant gives is thorns which you can't eat. Yeah, and these thorns make him bleed. And um, when he's bled, there is nothing to restore, to make, make good again uh, his losses, to pay him back with cordial fruit, with delicious fruit. So when, when you're ill or when you've, you, you, you've bled a lot, then you want to uh, restore your energy and maybe you restore that with uh, delicious fruit. Sure there was wine before my size did dry it. So was there a time when um, the world was full of wine, it was bounteous, when my life was really satisfying? Before my sighs, oh dear, before my unhappiness dried up this wine, before I was in this straitjacket of religion. There was corn before my tears did drown it. Okay, so there, were, there, there, there was a life of uh, wine and corn, of uh, bre bread and circuses before it was drowned, it was killed by my tears, by my unhappiness. Is the year only lost to me? Have, have I been wasting my time? Yeah, have I lost um, all this time uh, be, being a priest, being in the collar? Um, maybe I should go back to uh, a a, a non-religious life. Have I no bays to crown it? No flowers, no garlands gay, all blasted, all blasted. So here, a bay, a bay tree is a laurel and a crown of, of bay leaves was something that uh, the Greeks used to give to the victors in uh, the Olympic Games or something that went on the head of an emperor. Yeah, so uh, uh, is, is, is there no prize for uh, this life that I live? No flowers, no reward, no garlands gay. A garland is um, a group of flowers together. So aren't there any beautiful flowers? Is it all blasted, all wasted? So um, is, has, has uh, everything in me been destroyed? Have all that makes me... Um, happy being destroyed. Not so my heart, but there is fruit, and thou hast hands. So, no, I don't have to continue living this life. Um, there, the, the, there is fruit, there is a good life out there. Um, if I leave the church, um, th then um my my life will be be happy 
and thou hast hands and I have hands so I'm capable of making my own decision of uh, taking responsibility for myself recover all thy side blown age on double pleasures so recover all this time that is blown with sighs which is full of laments and unhappinesses yeah and recover that with double the pleasure uh, in a in a non-religious life in a lay life leave thy cold dispute of what is fit and not so stop trying to uh, to spending your life tr deciding what is appropriate and what is not appropriate what is right and what is wrong just do the things that make you happy forsake thy cage thy rope of sands so get forsake to turn your back on get rid of the cage that is holding you here um, the rope of sand that is tying you down so forget this religious life and just live a life of uh, of things that will make you happy yeah and then he's saying that he got into it or he got he became religious because maybe petty small unimportant thoughts um, and made to the good cable to enforce and draw and be thy law while thou didst wink and would not see so he, he's, na he's now saying that um, these minor silly thoughts made him become a priest maybe the world made him become a priest what the world said was good and what the world said was right and these have become good cable like ropes to enforce to in, m m make him do what he want what the, uh, uh, the church or what religion demands that he does and to they pull him along and like that I am uh, I represent the law of God I represent what is good and what is right and while that was happening thou did wink so he's talking to, to to god god i think did wink or maybe myself yeah he shut his eyes and would not see so i couldn't see the right path away take heed i will abroad so come on i'm I, i'm leaving away listen listen to this inner voice that says uh, let's go I will go I will abroad call in thy death's head there tie up thy fears that he forbears to suit and serve his needs deserves his load so um, here he's talking about the death's head of his fears yeah don't be be afraid not um not to, not to re li live a, a, a religious life don't be afraid of going out and living your own life yeah um i know that uh religion says that if if i don't if i don't do if i don't follow the exact teachings of god then uh, i um, i will die forever but forget your fears yeah stop being a priest who forbears to suit and serve his need deserves his load so then he's he's saying he's being self-critical he's saying that somebody that um puts up with somebody that stands all of these religious rules and stands um only doing what is right and uh, not following his heart his heart yeah um so that uh they fo they follow god's law and serve god's need well if you do that you deserve all the problems that you get yeah so i i deserve this for um just putting up with all these things to uh follow god but as i raved and grew more fierce and wild at every word 
Methought I heard one calling, Child, and I replied, My Lord. So as I raved, as I ranted and raved, as I um, thought about this and became more and more frantic, more and more wild at every word that I said to myself, I suddenly thought I heard a voice. So I heard God calling. I heard a voice calling, Child. And I replied, My Lord. So suddenly we have this twist at the end where God speaks to him and all his worries and uh, things that made him sad and unhappy and uh, frustrated disappeared and he came back to the fold, he came back to religion and here he's like, he feels that he's like a child and God is his master or his father. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Collar by George Herbert.